Harold, also known as Harold Harefoot, was born around 1015 to 1020 to Canute the Great, a Danish conqueror who had established a North Sea empire that included England, Denmark, and Norway. Harold's mother was Canute's concubine Elfgifu of Northampton, and he had several half-siblings, including half Aknut, who was born to Canute and his wife Emma of Normandy. Harold spent much of his childhood in Denmark, where he was raised alongside half Aknut. He likely received a good education and was trained in the arts of war and leadership, as was customary for noble children of the time. Following Canute's death in 1035, Harold became King of England, while half Aknut was still in Denmark. Harold's claim to the throne was contested by some nobles, who believed that half Aknut should inherit the kingdom. Harold's reign was marked by political instability and rebellion, as some nobles opposed his rule and supported half Aknut's claim to the throne. Harold had to constantly fight to maintain his hold on the kingdom and was forced to rely on the support of powerful advisors, such as Earl Godwin of Wessex. The Godwine family, particularly Earl Godwin of Wessex, became one of Harold's closest advisors and supporters. Godwin was able to use his political influence to help Harold maintain his hold on the kingdom, and his power and influence would continue to grow in the years after Harold's death. Harold was initially supported by his mother Elfgifu and his brother Swain, who ruled over Norway. Elfgifu likely played an important role in securing support for Harold among the nobility, particularly in the north of England. In 1036, Harold faced a rebellion in Northumbria, led by the Earls of Mercia and Northumbria, who supported half Aknut's claim to the throne. Harold was able to suppress the rebellion and maintain his hold on the kingdom, but he was left with a weakened position and had to rely even more heavily on his powerful advisors. In 1037, Harold married Elfgifu of York, the daughter of the Earl of Northumbria, in an attempt to gain support in the north. The marriage may have helped to solidify Harold's position in the north, but it did not prevent further rebellions and unrest. Harold faced another rebellion in 1038, this time in Wessex, which was led by a rival claimant to the throne named Ethelwald. Harold was able to defeat Ethelwald and secure his hold on the kingdom, but he was left with an even more tenuous position and had to rely heavily on the support of his powerful advisors. In 1039, half Aknut finally arrived in England, but he was unable to secure the support of the nobles and was forced to return to Denmark. Harold's hold on the kingdom was strengthened by half Aknut's failure to gain support, but he still faced significant challenges from rebellious nobles and political rivals. Harold continued to face rebellions throughout his reign, including one in 1040 led by Alfred, who had turned against his stepbrother. Harold was able to defeat Alfred and had him blinded, but Alfred died from his injuries shortly thereafter. The violent nature of Harold's reign likely contributed to his reputation as a brutal and ruthless ruler. Harold's death in 1040 left the throne of England vacant, and the power struggle ensued. Harold had no legitimate children, and his half-brother half Aknut was still in Denmark, so the nobles had to decide who should succeed him. Some nobles supported half Aknut's claim to the throne, while others favoured Harold's illegitimate half-brother, Edward the Confessor. In the end, the nobles chose to crown Edward the Confessor as King of England in 1043, after he had returned from exile in Normandy. Edward was the son of Canute's wife Emma of Normandy and had been raised in exile in Normandy after his father's death. Harold's reign was marked by political instability and violence, and he was widely regarded as a harsh and cruel ruler. He was known for his ruthless suppression of rebellions, including the blinding and killing of his own stepbrother Alfred. Despite his reputation for cruelty, Harold was also known for his generosity and patronage of the arts. He was a patron of the church and made significant donations to monasteries and religious institutions throughout England. Harold's reign saw significant changes in the English legal system, including the introduction of a new legal code that consolidated and standardized existing laws. The code, known as the Haraldic Law, was based on earlier Anglo-Saxon laws and helped to establish a more unified legal system throughout England. Harold's reign also saw the expansion of trade and commerce, particularly with the Scandinavian countries. This was facilitated by the fact that Harold was himself of Danish heritage and had close ties with Denmark and Norway. Harold's death marked the end of the direct line of Canute the Great, and the English monarchy would soon pass into the hands of the Norman dynasty. Edward the Confessor, who succeeded Harold as King of England, was married to a Norman princess and would eventually be succeeded by his Norman cousin, William the Conqueror. Harold's legacy is complex and contested, with some historians viewing him as a capable and effective ruler who was able to maintain the stability of the English kingdom during a difficult time, while others view him as a cruel and ruthless tyrant.
Despite the controversy surrounding his reign, Harold remains an important figure in English history and his legacy continues to be studied and debated by historians and scholars today. His reign marked a significant period of transition and change in England, and his actions and decisions helped to shape the course of English history for centuries to come.